Mike Le Couture, senior political correspondent for CTV News, is joining us now from Ottawa. Mike, many would have thought that on a day as such as today, politics would have been kept aside in the House of Commons, but that really wasn't the case today. Yeah, it was for the most part, but Yves-François Blanchet, uh, the leader of the Bloc Québec, while, while saying that, yes, he did admire her dedication to public service and that that needs to be recognized on a day like today, he said, at a certain point, we need to have this conversation about the uh, monarchy and whether or not it contributes to this country and to Quebec, frankly. And he noted the difficult history that Quebec has had with the monarchy in the past and says that we need to reflect on that in the days after we are reflecting on the life of Queen Elizabeth II. And to that end, he was asked exactly after he came out because, uh, keep in mind, after all of the speeches were done, there was a moment of silence in the House of Commons. But Blanchette had said that after that moment of silence, all of his MPs from the Bloc Québécois would leave the House of Commons. They would not stick around for those tributes. And so when he did finally come out, a number of journalists had asked him specifically, why did he raise it on a day like today? Have a listen to what he said. Let's arrive in the 21st century and see that any power which is supposedly based on a divine right, which uh, has so much uh, influence, and is so terribly expensive, might be considered as something of the past. I was absolutely respectful of the person, the institution, and the, the persons who loved the Queen. That been in the coming uh, weeks and months, it's about time we start thinking about this thing of the past. So, Akshay, potentially difficult to have that conversation and to bring it up on a day like today, but at the same time, when you consider the fact that members of parliament are elected by people and are here to serve people in their views, you would have to think that members of the Bloc Québécois have to stick to their values in that way, and if they felt it was better to leave the House of Commons rather than sit through the tributes, then that is the point that they wanted to make and that it was the values that they want to continue to follow. Okay, I want to talk about another leader's speech as well, uh, Mike. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh also uh, gave tribute to the Queen, but in that tribute he also spoke about the expectations, really, that he has from King Charles III. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and making sure that King Charles III does continue to do the work and continue on the path of reconciliation, something that the NDP has certainly been pushing for and certainly something that we had seen when then Prince Charles was here back in May meeting with a number of Indigenous groups and having those conversations about it. And certainly Jagmeet Singh in his tribute to Queen Elizabeth II talking about her contributions to it, but also, as you mentioned, the expectations that he has going forward for the new monarch. And to that end, yesterday in the conversation that I had with Mary Simon, Her Excellency the Governor General, asking her specifically, uh, because there have been a number of different indigenous communities and community leaders who are asking for uh, Prince, uh, King Charles III to rescind the doctrine of discovery uh, as a way to continue to walk on the path to reconciliation. And she said, well, she has not spoken to him specifically about that the last time that he was here this year she said that he was very much open to and very keen to continue wor that work on repairing the relations between the crown and indigenous peoples and right. she hopes that that will continue in the years to come and lastly mike about the plan ahead we know that the prime minister along with some other dignitaries uh, from uh, canadian politics are expected to be a part of a contingent uh, going mm -hmm. to pay their respects to the Queen in the UK. What do we know about that plan, Mike? Yeah, we do know that the Governor General will be with the Prime Minister at the funeral as part of that official delegation. Also, the Prime Minister has extended the invitation on his plane to go over to London to past prime ministers. This is a tradition uh, that we've seen in the past, certainly back in December of 2013 uh, at the Nelson Mandela funeral in South Africa. You had a number uh, of former prime ministers on that plane as well. So Prime Minister Trudeau has extended that invitation. Uh, there are still six uh, prime ministers 
who are alive at this time. You have Prime Minister uh, Stephen Harper, the last Conservative Prime Minister, then the two previous Liberal ones, uh, Paul Martin and Jean Chrétien, Brian Mulroney, of course, still alive and ha has uh, shared a number of stories about Queen Elizabeth. She, he as well, has been invited. Kim Campbell, uh, former Prime Minister, and then back to Joe Clark. Uh, at this point, we are not hearing just yet who has accepted the invitation and who may be going, mm -hmm. but we hope to have more on that in the hours or at least days to come. Okay, senior political correspondent for CTV News Channel, Mike Lecouture. Mike, thank you for all these updates. Appreciate it.